All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. And as part of the Rankin Technical College AWD, or Application and Website Development Program, and in particular the AWD 1100 C Sharp Programming Fundamentals class, I've been doing a series of video presentations based on the book we're going to be using for that class, that book being Miroc C Sharp 2015. Now, so far, the, in this 26-chapter book, I've done all of Section 1, which, as you can see, is how to get started with Visual Studio, how to design a Windows Forms application, and how to code and test that same Forms application. Before I go on to Chapter 4, which I will, but before I do, go on to that, you know, in that Section 2 on the C-Sharp language essentials before we go into how to work with numbers and strings all right we had been working with this program right here and it works I should do a file save all and run it and if I put in here two hundred and twenty five dollars like we did ten percent discount twenty two fifty discount amount giving us $202.50. They're formatted correctly, etc. Everything's cool. The clear works, which was not in the book, but I put it in. The exit, I put in more than was in the book. So all that works. So I'm going to, again, do a file, save all, and a file, close solution. Because what I've decided I want to do is I want to go in and work on a project that I will work on in most, not all, but most every chapter. What do I mean? Easier to show you. So let's go back. Let's go to Windows Form App. Next. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call this Payroll. All right, so I'm going to create a payroll application. I'm going to call this Chapters 2-3. All right, and hit Enter. So it's going to create this. I'm going to make it a little thinner and a little longer. And now I have here a solution called Chapters 2 and 3 and a project called Payroll. I'm going to take my, uh, boom. I'm going to view my toolbar, toolbox, and I'm going to pin it. There. Move this over. There we go. All right, why? Because what I want to do is I want to come through here and create my own project that's going to go through a lot of the same stuff we done in chapters two and three. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right mouse click on here and I'm going to rename this and I'm going to call it Form Payroll. Boom. So that's the first thing. It says you are renaming a file. Would you like to also rename any references to it? Sure. Okay, so that's done. All right. Now, if you remember, we went through this earlier. Create your form elements, rename the controls, change the text, and write the code. So let's do that. First of all, we've already, you know, let's, we came in here, and we've already renamed the form. We did it here, but you renamed it there. See that? All right. So I'm going to come up here, and the first thing I want to do is I want to change the text up here. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to call this text Payroll Program Dash based on, chap oops, on chapters 2 and 3. Boom, there it is. All right, I'm going to change my default start location to the center of the screen. All right, and I'm going to come in and let's see let's i don't like that background color at all i just think it's very hard to read it's kind of bleachy looking so let's start by we'll just work our way across use that kind of purplish okay all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add uh, a label for my first name a label for my last name a label for my hours worked a label for my hourly rate and a label for my gross pay so i'm going to add five labels there's one, and I'm just going to do a control copy 
paste, 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 paste. And I think I might have done one too many, but regardless, it's fine. First name, last name, hours worked, hourly rate, and uh, what did we say here? Gross pay. Okay, so let's get rid of that one. Let's move these down, have a lot of space in between each one. Again, this isn't at all necessary. I'm just trying to make it so it looks a little bit nicer. That's all. That looks pretty good to the naked eye there. All right. I'm going to do the same thing with my text boxes. So I'll double click to add one. There it is. Put it about, eh, how about right there? Control C, V, 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 V. And I probably made one too many, but that's okay. Just remove one of them. Yep. All right, so this will be hours worked, hourly rate. Uh, what did I say? Oh, I'm sorry. First name, last name, hours worked, hourly rate, and gross pay. So this will be the only one right here that has to be a read-only field. I don't like the gray. You can make it any color you want. So I'm going to make it one shade. Whoops. So for the back color, I'm going to make it one shade darker than it currently is. There. All right. Now I'm going to come in and change the name of all these. So this is going to be label first name. This will be label... last name this will be label hours worked this will be label hourly rate and this will be label gross pay and going along with that this will now be well hello this will now be text box gross pay. This will be text box hourly rate. This will be text box hours worked. This will be text box last name. This will be text box first name. All right, and I'm going to add my three buttons as I did last time. So, double click on button. Oops. Okay, there it is. We have three of those. And they will be button calculate, button clear. and button exit. Now, I can click my down arrow here, see if I missed anything. It doesn't look like it. All right, label first name. Label first name. Looks like I spelled this one wrong. Better. Text box first name, label first name, text box last name, label la I'm sorry, label last name, text box last name, text box hours worked, label hours worked, label hourly rate, text box hourly rate, text box gross pay, label gross pay, button calculate, button clear, button exit. Okay looking good. I'm only at 10 minutes, so let's at least change these the values in here. So again, I'm going to highlight all of them, go back up to auto size and set it to false. I don't know why I'm getting that, but why that should be a different size. 
but let's just do this. We'll make, we'll go about right there. That looks good. And the size on that is 214.23. All right, so that's pretty good. That looks good. Up of Tad. Say, whoops. Uh, well, that's kind of good. I can show you how to remove that because I didn't want it there. And I'll do that in a minute. So I now have, if I go to my code window, I've got a thing here for label hours worked, which I don't want. So how do I get rid of this? Don't just highlight it and remove it. All right, you need to remove it in the background files too, the system files. So go back to here, and it's my hours worked label. Okay, and that's this one here. I'm sorry, hours worked label there. So I've got a bunch of different kinds of buttons here. Notice there's hours work, so it's the right one. I want to click the one that looks like a lightning bolt. Then I want to find where I've got this, where it says click return. I want to highlight it all, hit the delete key. Now if I go back again to my code, it's gone. That's the right way to remove things. All right, let's go back to here again. All right, and let's change the values that are in each one of these. So this first one will be, for the text, it will be first name with a colon. All right, the next one will be last name with a colon. And, yeah, I think I spelled it right. Then we're going to have hourly rate. I'm sorry, hours worked with a colon, then hourly rate with a colon. And finally, gross pay with a colon. All right. OK. The next thing I want to do is I want to highlight all of these, go over to my text align property, Instead of top left, I want them to be middle right. I've seen this before. I'm also going to go over to my font property, and I'm going to change it. I'm going to make this nice and big. So 14 point bold and click OK. Now it looks like there's room. They're all in there. That's cool. All right. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, again, so it's pretty symmetrical. So that and that are pretty much the same size. Okay. And finally, I'm going to highlight everything by drawing that invisible lasso around it. Right mouse click, choose lock controls. Now my controls are locked. I don't have the most beautiful interface in the world, but it's functional. All right, from my calculate button, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change the text on there to calculate. I'm going to change the text on the middle one to clear. And I'm going to change the text on the last one to exit. All right. Also, I don't have to do this, but I'm going to highlight all of them. And since I made the text size on the 114 in bold, I'm going to do that the same thing with those. Okay. Now, it doesn't like that. Looks okay. And lock the controls again. All right. Again, it's it's looking okay. It doesn't look at all fantastic, but it's looking okay. One more thing I want to do that I forgot about. So let me highlight that again, and I'm going to unlock my controls for a minute. In fact, I think they are unlocked. Good. All right. I'm going to grab all of these. I'm going to make this a little wider. Kind of like that. That looks good. And again, I'm going to make the size on that just so it's nice and easy for us to see. 14 point bold. Boom. Okay. 
which maybe means that these have to be moved up just a little bit. Okay. If I do a control A like that, I can highlight all of the controls at once and let's lock. Good. Interfaces built. I am at 15 minutes. Great time to stop. So in just a minute, I'm going to go in and so what have I done so far? Create your form controls. Done. Rename your controls. Done. Change the control text if necessary. Done. 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 Write the code. Not done. We'll do that in our next lesson. And remember, as we're doing that, I'm only going to bring up the stuff we've discussed so far in the book. So I'll be back with that in just a couple minutes after a file save all. See you then. Back in a couple minutes.